Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solar Trip Podcast episodes. We're talking about all things spirituality, metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, because of the recent times, which I'm very sure that you are aware of, I wanted to kind of share my perspective a little bit on what's going on right now but I do want to put this disclaimer as always that like this is literally just my perception I'm not here to debate you I do not care this is not like some kind of like he is right and she is wrong and bloody fucking blah like this is just me sharing my perspective and you can take whatever resonates and leave whatever doesn't, you know, because I feel like none of us really know for certain. We just kind of research and figure things out for ourselves, you know. So, yeah, I really don't care to debate you about what is right and what is wrong because who gives a fuck? But anyway, so for this video, we're going to talk about the coronavirus and the pandemic type panicky situation and everything that's been going on. Because even though like this year is 2020, so. I knew and a lot of people in the spiritual community that like post videos and stuff and really talk about this type of area of life. A lot of people are aware that something was going to happen this year or something like crazy and big is going to go down, especially if you look astrologically at what's going on. I'm not an astrologer, so I don't know like the exact aspects and all of that kind of stuff of what's happening. But I do know that this is supposed to be a big year where like crazy things happen but then when it started happening it still kind of took me by surprise in a way it was still a bit like oh so this is what it is like this is the direction we're gonna go in okay then sort of thing and I did start to feel a little bit of like anxiety and a bit I guess it's kind of uncertainty isn't it that makes you feel a bit oh, like what the fuck is this <laughs> even though I knew that it was gonna be okay and that it was like something that's supposed to happen and all of that kind of stuff it still made me feel a bit like oh shit what is this <laughs> but then as i've started looking further into it i realize obviously there's an agenda behind it and i mean we could go down a whole rabbit hole of why they've done it who did it what it's for like what other things they're doing while you're distracted by this thing you know there's always so many layers to this shit and I feel like no matter how much research you do, you can never really know 100% exactly what it is, but you can have an idea and like have your own perspective, you know, and then look at like numerology and the different symbolism that goes on in Hollywood and stuff. And you can kind of create a whole picture and put, like, put the puzzle pieces together. That was the phrase I was looking for. <laughs> My mind kind of went a bit crazy then, but yeah, so I know that like, with this whole virus obviously we know it's gmo like it was man-made along with a hell of a lot of other things and i haven't really looked into exactly how it spread like i know what they've said it was but i haven't looked into like whether there's more to that or not you know because i kind of don't really feel like it matters at this point the whole like fact that it's even happening you know i feel like that's more important so obviously there's like 5g towers there's the whole integration of AI and like machines and robots and that kind of thing. Like I know there's a whole fucking agenda behind this. And when you think about that agenda, it really does make you start to feel a lot of fear and start to feel like you're powerless. Like where's my power then? If these people have this much money, they have all of the like weapons and all of everything. If they can control like the electricity that we have in our houses and stuff like that, then where's our power, you know? And I did start to kind of, I don't want to say spiral because I feel like I stopped it before it got to that point, but it could have potentially started to spiral into like all of these negative thoughts and panicking and like, what the fuck's gonna happen how can we figure this out and all of that kind of stuff you know it's very easy to fall down that trap and I did notice certain thoughts starting to rise up of that which also I'm starting to realize like they they do create that like it's not always your thoughts oftentimes they're kind of planted you know especially with all of the radiation and all of these like um technology devices that we use 
I know it sounds really far-fetched, but a lot of it does actually trigger certain thoughts in your mind that you wouldn't have thought beforehand. Like they have been able to manipulate, just like the um, quantum computer, you know? I don't know if you've heard of that, but they have a computer that can manipulate or like kind of, I don't know if it's like jump timelines or like manipulate the timeline that we're on kind of thing. So you should look into that and look into the Mandela effect and stuff like that because I mean, that machine has been around for, I didn't even know how long, a good few years now. So, we, and that's already proven, like they've kind of admitted that that's what they're doing or not admitted that they're affecting reality in a negative way, but they have admitted that they can access reality or like, you know, I don't really claim to know all of these science phrases and stuff because I do not fucking know that shit. But I do know that um, a lot of these devices, like, I mean, it's electromagnetic waves, which is what we are made up of, you know, and these devices admit, emit that and it affects our chakras and our emotions and our thoughts and our state of being, you know. So obviously there's a full blown agenda behind AI and behind us all having these devices on us 24 seven, like we literally carry it around with us everywhere we go. And these things affect us and they listen to us. And that's how you get all of these adverts pop up, you know, the things that you've talked about because your device is literally listening to you. And as I'm saying this, this sounds really ridiculous and really like, almost like something from a film. <laughs> but obviously they create the films with those coding in it and those messages in it because they're literally telling us exactly what they're doing so yeah this is a whole rabbit hole that i could sit here and talk about for ages and i feel like for some reason as i'm speaking i feel like nobody's going to understand what i'm saying and i sound really crazy but i think that's because obviously i've been surrounded by people that would think i'm crazy and that don't understand what i'm talking about because they've never researched it so yeah, I'm kind of learning how to be comfortable talking about such like out there topics because it is a bit weird and a bit like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> but if you actually were to look into it and research it, you would uncover so much stuff that is kind of mind blowing. But at the same time, like it really is happening, you know, like this is a whole agenda. And also that kind of leads me on to like, the law of polarity, when you think about the law of polarity, right, there's negative and positive. So, and that's just like a battery. If we're talking about electromagnetic waves, which is what a whole universe is, it's all about waves and frequency. So like, if you think about how a battery works, like there's both negative and positive, and that also correlates with the whole, like the law of vibration, the whole idea and concept around that, which is a universal law. It's just something that is, it's not something that can be changed or manipulated. It just is, that's just the law. And um, so like, there's always negative and positive. It's just like when you take any kind of scenario or even any kind of emotion or any kind of thought or anything, no matter what it is that you look at, there's always a negative and there's always a positive, you know? like any situation that you're in, you can always find something that's negative about it and always find something that's positive about it because both always exist, they'll always be there. So I realized that even though they have an agenda, even though like they can be doing whatever they're doing and being the dumb fucking idiots that they are and like manipulating the reality just to keep power and just to like control the masses or whatever their reasoning is behind it, there's always a positive as well. And sometimes when you're looking at all of these like negative things and trying to really understand what they're doing, you can lose sight of the positive. You can lose sight of the fact that this is a natural shift that we're in right now. Like the way that the whole collective and the whole universe works is, and if you look in astrology as well, like it shows you that we have these natural timelines and these shifts. As I've said before about going from the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius, you know, like that's what we're in right now where it's the information age because Aquarius represents intellect and information. So this is a natural shift that we're in where we are elevating like if you look around you the whole collective is starting to question everything that's going on around us we're all starting to be like 
what is this? What are they doing? Even on um, like some social media with this virus, I've seen so many people that may not be like deeply invested in researching conspiracy theories and things like that, but they're still questioning where this virus came from, why it's here, what else is happening? Like they still are starting to be aware of the fact that it's not all adding up and that there could be certain lies, there could be things that we're not being told, you know? So I think it's like really obvious now that there is an agenda and there is a bigger picture that's not necessarily, I don't wanna say obvious, but it's not necessarily something that we're, we're like paying attention to, even though it's actually right in front of our faces but it does kind of sound so far-fetched and it sounds like something that would be in a film, like a completely made up story when it's actually very real and very true and completely happening. But yeah, so I just am starting to realize that like, you could spend forever falling down the rabbit hole of all of the fear things and all of the fucked up things that are happening. But at the same time, like there's so much positive and when you go down that negative route, it really does, strip you of your power it really does make you forget that you're god in a vessel who chose to come here you know and you chose to come here knowing that there was an agenda going on knowing that this shit was happening you know like i don't know i just find i'm just speaking for myself because i find that sometimes when i keep looking because i do research this shit every day it's like a complete i don't know what the word is i guess devotion or like it's just <laughs> I just always feel called to it and I find it interesting so I'm always researching this stuff and then sometimes you can kind of fall down such a rabbit hole that you just get a bit lost in like oh my god there's sex trafficking going on you know or, oh my god they've created a virus because they want us to be in our houses so that they can manipulate the sun and so that they can do all of this kind of stuff and put up 5G towers just to like, that cause cancer for God's sake. Like they're really doing this stuff where it can affect our health, it can affect our minds, it can affect our thoughts and our emotions and then the way that we live, you know? And that kind of concept is a little bit terrifying. <laughs> so then it's like, okay, you have to bring it back to yourself now because like that's the external, that's what the external reality is doing. But if the external reality reflects your internal, then it's like, okay, we need to now bring it back to ourselves. What can we do? You know, like, and obviously that's a perspective shift. Like the what can we do question is answered by a perspective shift. So you bring it back to yourself. And this is just my own process. This is what I'm having to do so that I don't sit there panicking. And then people keep like panic buying and stuff and acting all crazy and being selfish when it's because they're fearing the external without realizing that it starts internally first. So you have to bring it back to yourself and find your power and be like, okay, I'm God in a vessel, you know? What is it that they're externally trying to affect internally? Because all of their external manipulation, all of the stuff that they're doing is actually in order to affect you internally. Like that's the whole point, <laughs> you know? Because they're not inside of you, they're, although they technically are, but they're not. Um, they're not physically inside of you. Like they can't sit there and hear your thoughts because they're not on a vibration where they can tele telepath telepathically, <laughs> fuck's sake, these words. They're not on a frequency where they can communicate with you telepathically, you know, because that's too much of a high vibration and they're running around in fear and like greed and all of these just heavy, low vibrations. So they can't hear your thoughts. They don't have that kind of power because they're so stuck in these heavy, dense frequencies and emotions, right? So if they're like, if they're wanting to manipulate you, but yet they're coming from such a low vibration, then they have to use external physical things like technology to manipulate you and to control you because they can't get inside of your mind any other way, you know? So it's like, if they have to do that externally, then that means that the internal is what matters and you have control over your internal being, like your whole body, your whole mind, everything, you know? They can do all of the external manipulation that they want, but if you're in your power, if you are aware of yourself and aware of your mind and aware of who you are and aware of your vibration, then whatever they do will not affect you. 
you know because that internal is way more powerful than the external like it starts internally first you know and then the external is a reflection of that so i realized that like my vibration what i'm thinking what i'm doing that matters more than what they're doing and what they're thinking and why they're doing what they're doing you know so yeah i just had to like give myself a bit of a perspective shift or like a reality check or something or whatever kind of word you want to use i had to like check myself a little bit and then yeah just kind of remember your power because yeah they can be doing all of this and even if you believe that this virus could affect you like even if you even if you're fearing the actual virus itself and you're not even thinking about like their agenda or any of that shit the only way that it can affect you is if you allow it and i know that can sound kind of weird to some people but like if the mind creates everything the mind determines your frequency and your frequency then determines your external reality so that means that if you're panicking if you're in fear if you're stressing if you're worrying if you're like keeping yourself stuck in that vibration then you're going to be a match to everything else that's on that vibration including them those whatever you want to call them that are doing this you know you're going to be a match to them so then they can manipulate you because you're on a complete vibrational alignment with them and their agenda and the fear-based things that they're pushing you know so it really is about you choosing your vibration choosing your home frequency and i do have other episodes on that like the last episode that i just did was about choosing your frequency because it's so important not just for all of the negative things not just for your circumstances but for your own inner peace your own happiness your own like just feeling good on a daily basis no matter what goes on around you because then when these things happen externally because they're going to happen externally you know it's a part of life it's a part of this experience they do exist we can't ignore the fact that they exist we can't ignore the fact that there is a virus going around you know like it's not an ignoring but it's just uh being in control of yourself being in control of your own vibration your own emotions and your own thoughts so then when those circumstances and situations do happen you're not out here running around in fear feeling like you're gonna get it or feeling like you're gonna attract it or like feeling like you have nowhere to turn or no way out you know you'll be in your power and then logical like intu and intuitive solutions and ideas will come to you because it won't be out of panic or fear it will be like you'll literally receive downloads from your higher self or from source or whatever word you want to use you'll receive those downloads because it's the aspect of you that's not restricted by space and time you know it's not restricted by the vessel by the five senses it already sees the bigger picture because it's the aspect of you that hasn't incarnated you know so it already knows your life it knows everything that's going to happen and you can receive downloads just by tapping into that part of yourself just by being open to it by literally raising your vibration and not being in fear you can then access that part of yourself and that's how you get these ideas of like you know when somebody like gets that feeling where they shouldn't go outside today or like they shouldn't drive today or they they should stay home or they shouldn't get on that bus or you know when you get that kind of thought that comes in your head or that feeling that comes in your I was gonna say in your head but that feeling that like takes over your body and then you find out later on that it was a good thing that you didn't do that and it was a good thing that that thought came in your head because something dangerous happened or something bad happened you know like that is a download that's exactly what it is it's just is information coming into you from other aspects of yourself or like parts of yourself that you're not even aware are there you know i don't really know how to word this but i feel like that's like a good example of something that we all have probably experienced you know and you can't really explain it you don't know where you got that thought from but it just came up and you felt like you needed to follow it you know and then other times we don't follow it and then we get in shit situations and we're like i knew this was going to happen why didn't i listen to myself before you know and that is literally just a download from the part of yourself because it's not external it's a part of yourself that knows so it warned you <laughs> and it's just a case of listening you know so 
yeah i just realized how much this whole experience and this whole life is really about getting in tune with yourself and i never understood how important that was until recently especially with this situation going on right now it's just so important to really like just be comfortable with yourself and hear yourself and trust yourself and take care of yourself you know really taking care of yourself and tuning in to what you're thinking and feeling and then being able to adjust it yourself without somebody else manipulating that for you you know without getting triggered by something and then reacting you're choosing to sit with that trigger understand that trigger acknowledge that trigger and then respond how you want rather than just like a knee-jerk reaction you know so yeah we're kind of in a bit of a crazy time right now but i do understand that it is a natural shift and this is a part of the collective wake awakening we have to go through this otherwise it wouldn't be happening so even though it is a little bit scary and it is very uncertain and a bit weird and like what else have they got planned then if they're going to do this you know how long is this going to go on for we don't know but what you can do is take care of yourself. What you can do is a, is be aware of what's going on externally, but most importantly, be aware of what's going on internally and utilize all of your spiritual practices, you know, your meditation and just like training your mind and your body to be calm, but training yourself to just sit with whatever comes up as well, you know? So I definitely think you should check out my last episode on choosing your home frequency because I did share my whole process of how I tune into myself and decide how I want to feel and what I want to think you know so it's a really powerful video but yeah I hope you are doing well I know it is a really crazy time right now and a lot of people are like so uncertain and stressing and everything but seriously I just wanted to make this video because I don't normally talk about like the full on things of what's happening in the world currently, but I felt like this was necessary just to put this message out there and be like, don't panic. Like it is going to be okay. You know, it is going to be fine. This will pass. I know that people obviously get affected and a lot of people have got sick and things like that, but like it's going to be okay you know like it really will and it's going to get better and we are going to come out the other side of it and we're all elevating and i know this sounds kind of a bit morbid and everything but like even when people do pass over it means it's their time you know and also energy doesn't die like they're not actually leaving they still exist their soul still lives on and i know that that sounds really weird but it is the truth so I don't think that it should be something that we fear. It should be something that we, like it puts things into perspective of the whole system and the way that like the school system works, the economic system works. It should really be like us questioning all of those things and deciding how we actually want them to be, like how we want to change them, you know? Because if the whole collective was to like really do that and start to think about a better way, we could manifest that like we could bring that into existence through our thoughts and through our minds so i don't know i just think it's important to realize that we have way more power than what you think well what you think is your power <laughs> i feel like everything just strips your power away so bad and i'm starting to become more and more aware of it as i'm noticing it happening to myself that there's just so many things that go on that really make you feel helpless and like you have no control over it but if our minds create everything then that means our thoughts create everything our emotions create everything and that means that like if you're sitting there focusing on the negative and on the fear then it's going to keep like magnifying that and making it bigger and building it up bigger but if we all to it like if all of us were to shift that to let me nourish my body let me take care of myself let me meditate and sit with my emotions and start to move my emotions let me do eft to like work through the fear that i'm feeling and start to move that through my body so that it's not trapped if we all were to do that like the heavy density that is currently here would not be here we would all be feeling so much better we would be less panicking we would be less fearful and even though there's uncertainty because we don't all know exactly what's going to happen, we wouldn't be worrying and stressing and feeling anxious about it, you know, because we'd be so like, 
tuning into our bodies. And obviously we're gonna feel those emotions, but like you wouldn't get stuck there. It would start to move constantly, you know? So then, I don't know. I just think it would be better. <laughs> I don't even know how else to word this. So anyway, I feel like I'm going to leave this video there, but I just wanted to film this and put this message out there in case you're stressing and you're worrying. Like, it's going to be okay. This is a natural shift in the collective right now. And even though this virus is not natural and it's probably most likely a man-made virus, but at the same time, we have more power than it, you know? We have way more power than it because even healing, like even healing your body is like 80% mental at least. I'm pretty sure Dr. Sabi even said that it was 80 or 90% mental and he's the one that like cured everything through herbs, you know? So like it literally is about the mind and it's about your emotions. And when you take care of that, like watch your external reality change, you know? Some people don't believe that it's possible until you actually start to do it. You won't see results until you start to do it. And if you pay attention and really watch your vibration one day and then just watch what happens around you, you'll really start to notice the difference of how the lessons that you like align with will be of a higher vibration because you're of a higher vibration, if that makes any sense. So there won't be lessons that are like based in suffering and fear and all of these kind of things. They'll be much higher, even though that doesn't mean it'll be easy, but it just won't be so heavy and fearful and like weighed down by it you know you'll be able to move through it a lot easier even if it's not actually an easy situation <laughs> if that makes any sense but anyway I hope that you are all doing well and um if you have any like questions any topics that you want me to talk about definitely leave a comment below on youtube or you can dm me on any social media or you can text or whatsapp me my number is also in the description box below and yeah i will see you in the next video i also just announced that my next single soul ties drops on friday the 27th of march so it is coming very very soon and i'm really excited for you to hear it so definitely go to my social media it's blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I really can't talk today. Go to all of my social media for like sneak peeks and updates if you're interested in that. And all links to my music are in the description box below as well. So yes, I will see you in the next video. Make sure that you take care of yourself, look after yourself, nourish your body with the right foods and fruit and vegetables and herbs, and just really like take care of your mind. Oh my God, take care of your mind, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I will see you in next week's episode. Bye. Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white